Friends, in this video, we are going to see how to manage a soft cataract with small people without using any people expansion device. The main incision has been made with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome. This is a side port on the left side of the main incision. And now, this is an air bubble. My plan is to stain the anterior capsule underneath this air bubble and here goes the tripon blue dye. The size of the people in this case is about 4 millimeter and this is a bit of adrenaline. Let us see if the people dilates little with the help of the adrenaline. Yes, it has dilated to some extent maybe 4.5 millimeter or so and as I inject visco size of the people will increase little more this is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose size of the people is about 4.75 millimeter and now I'm going to do a rexis The capsule goes along the margin of the pupil and in some places beyond the pupil, pupillary margin so that I get an adequate size rexis of about 5 mm. Now hydro dissection is done. This is BSS and 27 gauss cannula. In small pupil we must be very careful to do hydro must not inject a lot of fluid there will be fluid build up and the posterior capsule may give way so we have to be very careful in such cases this is Dr. Sohel's pre-chopper I'm going to use this instrument to divide the nucleus into two halves and then one half is being subdivided The left hand instrument is a blunt chopper with a ball tip all around round and it can go beyond the equator safely. And now the other hemonuclease is being attempted for division. It is divided. It is just a crack. It is not fully it's not fully separated the pieces are still joined but still we can manage because we have got two completely separated heminuclei and now see as I use vacuum you can see the signs of floppy iris the iris dances the people becomes more small so the pre-chopper has helped in these cases. If I had tried to manage the nucleus by the FACO tip, it would have been more difficult. We have to be careful not to catch the pupillary margin in these cases. Yes. The nucleus has come out this is a layer of epinucleus now my plan is to remove the epinucleus by a 23 gauze Simcoe cannula here it goes it is coming out gradually We must not touch the iris. We must go in the bag and catch hold of the cortical matter, not catch the pupillary margin. So 
so most of the cortex has come out and here it is this is the last chunk of cortex so the cortex is nicely cleaned but in such cases we should check if there is any cortex retracting the iris after implanting the intraocular lens. I'm going to use a white bore cartridge so enlarged the main wound by say 0.2 millimeter size of the wound is about 3 millimeter now. Now here goes the intraocular lens. This is a hydrophilic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens. checked the lenses in the bag and now I inject some more visco and then take this instrument this is very useful to retract the iris all around sweep all around and check if there is any cortical matter anywhere behind the iris so this is 360 degree check of for cortex and now this is uh, removal of visco lot of visco is trapped behind the eye well so we must go behind the eye well and irrigate some bases in the capsular bag so that the trapped visco may come out so far I am in the bag and in the angle and now I have taken the bimanual irrigation aspiration and pushing the intraocular lens going behind the lens and irrigating BSS behind the intraocular lens and aspiration is in front of the lens and thus there is whatever visco was there trapped behind the eye well that is between the posterior capsule and the intraocular lens has come out. We must do this step religiously if we want clear cornea next day other is cornea will be steamy and hazy because of raised intraocular pressure. The side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of the wound. The main wound is doesn't need any hydration. We will see that in a short while. This is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. And then the antechamber is very nicely formed. And then the case is concluded. There is no leakage from main wound. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, compassion and great surgical competence.